Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden today. We're back with more Epica. This is Sensorium live in studio. Alright, so this is uh, another song performed uh, live in studio. The same live in studio that we checked out before, but I for life of me, I can't remember what the name of that song was now. Uh, after, you know, taking the long break and all that, it's made me forget by now what it was. Uh, but I do know we have seen uh, this performance before uh, in the studio. Um, apparently this is a better version because apparently all the other versions were crap on YouTube. So that's good to know that someone actually made a higher quality, uh, better one. It's great for, you know, if you guys remember doing Gramstein with live stuff. It was rough sometimes. So, let's jump in and check it out. Sensorium. Epica is an alternate universe where answers lie on the lives of life. The following number is a philosophical number. It is called Sensorium. Back when you, you, you had to say like the name was like super aggressive. Remember that? Some bands still do it now. So cool seeing them that young too. Curious if we're showing that backup singers in the song too. Back to the voice there. Oh, I really like that vocal part. Just super, just super pleasant to hear. Definitely tell the song structure got more complex as they moved on from this point. But I think I learned from the last one too. It's not, it's not uh, as in depth as they are now.
in there too. And the men are like offset from the, the women there at certain parts too, which is really nice uh, effect to do. It looks like he's playing so gentle on the drums. Cool, cool, cool. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> no, that's, that's funny. That's funny throwing in the uh, growl at the end. Yeah, we did it. Oh man. All in all, it's pretty decent song. Um, if I compare it to like you know what they put out now, it's like night and day. To a certain degree, with uh, elements definitely still there from the earlier years, but they're they're really really good at making high quality wall of sound, like many different things going on uh, once in their music is you know something they do really well now, and you can see back then that was like the starting of you know getting into doing that. Um, obviously, at this point as well, you can see like. They're still, they still seem to be finding their way at this point. I can't remember if you guys told me this was at the start of the career, or even like halfway through. But even halfway through, you know, so far, they haven't been around for a super, super long time. You know, they haven't been around since the 80s, you know. You have to remember these bands still aren't that, that old compared to a lot of other metal bands, you know what I mean? So there's, uh, they still have a ways to go and they're still going to progress even more. Uh, which is crazy to think sometimes, eh? Like, even like bands like, uh, you know, like Nightwish that started in like the late 90s like they still have a ways to go they can still do that they have like another 10 15 years probably in them that are of good music you know uh, if they're lucky even more uh, which I find is just super interesting to think about some some bands like this where like music's gonna progress and it's gonna be even more uh, intricate I'm sure in its own way of some way that we haven't even thought of yet um, but it's always nice to go back and see back in someone's career and see where they started off and you can really pick apart with songs like this where they have elements that they took forward with them maybe a little bit that they didn't you know like uh they still seemed like young enough here I don't, again i don't remember exactly where this is in their career but uh they're almost like uh, uh, a little childish in the studio but in not a bad way uh but like you know like Goofing around and uh, and stuff like that. You can see a few points in the video, and uh, you know it almost shows like uh, nowadays when you see them, there's none of that. It all seems very professional and uh, excuse me, really well put together, and because that's the image they've now built themselves up to be, and they're you know a big touring band nowadays, <laughs> pretty big touring band. They have a huge fan base, obviously, or we would not be doing Epica. As the daily band right now if they did not uh, so it's super interesting again to see that and uh, there's a lot of good elements again like her voice her voice uh, that one part where I mentioned it was about what half almost right before halfway through give or take uh, for some reason it just it just felt really beautiful and sounded really great to me I don't know I don't know if that, it sounded like she had an effect on her voice too uh, but maybe not. Maybe it just might just be the quality because this is just an enhanced version. The the original is that's been circulating, you know, on YouTube uh, was worse than that. So it's kind of like fixed. You know what I mean? So it could just be that too. Uh, but it did sound like she had uh, some form of effect on her voice, and it just sounded really, really great. Um, the growling parts here on the on on this one though, I didn't really like it that much. I don't know if it's just because they haven't had incorporated it very well in this song for me. Um, I felt like it was too different. 
that would be the only downside to the song I think for, for me uh, but it's not going to be the same for everyone you know like for me it's like that for others it's going to be they're going to love it you know what I mean so uh, but yeah nonetheless hopefully you guys enjoy checking this one out me if you did make sure you hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to see more from me if you have not already and as always you guys have a good one and I'll catch you later